All right, welcome everybody. I hope everybody's been having a great day. I have, because of course I've been creating today. That's always a good day. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Julie Brown. I am a Stampin' Up! Independence Demonstrator. Um, and I'd like to welcome you tonight. Tonight we're going to go over another one of the new bundles in the mini catalog. But before we get to that, I have some housekeeping and some exciting announcements uh, for you guys. But first... If you're new to this and you're not sure how to uh, communicate with me, uh, just in the comments, just type in the comments, let me know you're here. Um, and if you have any questions, just type in those questions. I do try to look up once in a while and look to see what questions are being asked so that I can answer them. Um, so for those of you that haven't been on with me before, welcome. I'm so excited to have you. So let's get to the exciting announcements. Yay! So the first one is this exciting 24-hour stamp sale. <gasps> exciting! Okay, it is going to be tomorrow, September, and it's only 24 hours, so it's just tomorrow, um, September 23rd, and it's 15% off. And I'm going to scroll slowly and show you guys what stamps are actually on sale. So here's the first little bit of the list. So as you can see, uh, it's most of the stamps that are actually, hey, Shanine. So it's most of the stamps that are in the annual catalog. Um, but here's a list of a few of the stamps that are gonna be on sale tomorrow only. Um, they are 15% off. So if you see one of the sets that you've been eyeing, now would probably be a good time to get it. So let me move down a little farther. So there's a few of the other ones. So I'm really excited because some of these are my favorite ones. And you can see, too, some of the ones that are the Christmas ones that are in the annual catalog are going to be at that 15% off tomorrow. Okay, so here's our next. I think there's like five pages, so bear with me. I'm just going to take, you guys can take screenshots if you want to do that um, so that you know what's on sale. Let me move it and then I'll stop. Oh, look at this, Zany Zebras. That's one of my favorite ones. Okay, and then here's the next page. Again, these are in the annual catalog and tomorrow only 24 hour sale at 15% off. So let me go down a little bit. And you'll see it's listing some in French, but uh, hey, if you speak French and you want the French ones, you can get those too. <gasps> Way to goats on there. That's another one of my favorite ones. All right. And then I think this is the end. So those are the ones that will be on sale, 24 hour sale tomorrow only. All right. Now, the other exciting thing is for anybody on here who has been thinking about signing up as a demonstrator, tomorrow would be the time to do that because not only do you get the sale, but you um, we still have that get and go starter kit that's going on right now, which is a fabulous kit. So it costs $99 to sign up as a demonstrator. You get 20% uh, off of everything that you purchase once you're a dem once you're a demonstrator. Now you do have to make minimum purchases, so if you're curious about that, you can ask me later. But it's $99 to sign up and right now in September, they have this fantastic deal going on where not only do you get $125 worth of product for $99, but you also get when you sign up the Queen Anne's lace stamp set and the So Much Love stamp set. You get Rhinestone Basic Jewels, and then you get these two um, card kits, basically. And I believe there's, uh, I don't remember, sorry. I don't know if it says it. Um, but this kind of gives you a sample of what it is. So these card kits are already cut and ready for you to make cards with. So besides the $125 worth of product for $99, you get all of this in September. Plus, if you do it tomorrow, anything that you order 
for that $99 is going to be, if it's any of those stamp sets, they're also going to be 15% off. So, yay, right? So I, I know I've had a couple of you kind of talking about maybe becoming a demonstrator. So if you're thinking of it, tomorrow's the day. Um, so let me get to one more thing of housekeeping. So if you want to order or if you want to sign up and be part of my team, um, you can do that at juliebrown.stampinup.net. Here's how you contact me. If you have any questions, it's juliescreativestampin at gmail.com. And then there's my Pinterest page and my blog. And I do want to point out to you guys that you, a lot of people sign up as demonstrators because they want the 20% discount and they have no intention on doing what I do as far as doing live videos or having parties. Um, I know a couple of ladies that signed up to be demonstrators and about once every quarter they meet with their friends and they have a little get together and then sometimes those ladies place orders with them and sometimes they don't. So just something to keep in mind because if you're someone who really loves Stampin' Up! products, Remember that when you sign up as a demonstrator, you can get that 20% off um, all the time. So uh, think about that. And if it's something that you're interested in, let me know. So let's look at what we're going to be working on tonight. And it is, whoops, I got to move that. I got too many things on. Oh, now where's my, here we go. We're going to work with the Dove of Hope bundle. And what I like about this bundle is that it's not just for Christmas. So I'm going to do two cards tonight. One is going to be not a Christmas card, and it's the simple stamping card that I'm going to do tonight. And the other one is a Christmas card, just so that you can see the versatility of this stamp set. Uh, it's, a, it's pretty amazing, and I really do like it. So let me get um, this moved, and we will get started. So our first card is going to be my simple stamping card. So we won't be using the dies on the first card. We'll be using those on the second card. And because I'm not going to be doing a Christmas card, I'm going to bring in my Peaceful Moments sentiment. You guys know I love this one. I use it all the time. My Peaceful Moments because I'm going to use some sentiments off of this because I didn't want to use the Christmas sentiments on the first card. This first card is pretty simple. So all you need is you need a basic gray card base that is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And then you need a um, two whisper whites that are four and a quarter. Or sorry. Sorry, I knocked something down. I was trying to pick it up. Uh, four, two whisper whites that are four by five and a quarter. All right, let's get started. This one's actually going to go pretty quick because it's just simple stamping. So we're going to bring in, and what I'm going to use is I'm going to be using this stamp and this stamp for this one. And I'm going to be making a sympathy card with this stamp set. So I'm going to come in with the um, limb first. And we're just going to ink it up. I'm gonna stamp off the page just a bit because I wanna make sure my limb goes all the way to the edge. Then I'm gonna come in again and we're just gonna do an, a limb. Ah, that one didn't work out too good. And I don't think I'm very good at stamping over the top. Oh, I did it, yay, yay. <laughs> stamping over the top. So there's that. Let me clean that stamp off. See, I'm trying to go too fast. I just need to take my time, make sure that my stamp is level. Sometimes when you have these little, like, small edges here, when you go to down, you tend to, you're te you tend to pay more attention to this edge, but you need to make sure you get proper pressure on the whole thing, which is what I did not do. Or you can just get the Stamparatus and not even worry about it. All right, so then I'm going to come in with the Dove. And she's going to be flying up here. All right. Then I'm going to come in with a sentiment. I think I'm going to do all of my stamping. Actually, I shouldn't have. Okay. So then this is going to be the inside. And I'm just going to go. I'm going to do all my stamping first. And then we'll put the card together. 
and I'm gonna do her right down there in that corner. This is gonna be the inside of the card. All right, now I'm going to come in with the thinking of you with all of my heart, and this is from the Peaceful Moments stamp set. Let's get this lined up. And I'm gonna put this kind of down here. All right, so that's gonna be stamped there. And then I'm going to come in with the, this is also from the Peaceful Moments and it says, with deepest sympathy. And fortunately, I have needed several sympathy cards lately. All right, so there's all the stamping. That's the one thing I love about simple stamping is it just, these cards go together so fast. And, and you can, if you have the Stamparatus, think about how fast you could make several of these cards. All right, so let's go ahead and put the inside in first. This one had to be kind of fast because we're gonna do some die cutting on the second card. But you know, I, I just kind of wanted to show you guys because I think the one thing that we forget to do is you know we buy a stamp set that we think is a birthday stamp set or we think it's a Christmas stamp set and we forget to look at the images um, and realize that they can be used for other things besides uh, like this one, you know, besides just a Christmas one. I didn't get that very straight, let me push that. Okay, so there's the inside. Then we're gonna put this on the front. And again, this is just my simple stamping card. So just realize it's, you know, exactly that name. It's a, it's, it's a more simple card, but I am going to put some embellishments on this um, just to kind of jazz it up a little bit, which is always a fun thing that you can do with your simple stamping. And I have already colored. So I colored five of the pearls. I know you guys have seen me. Um, um, sorry, Shanine, I'll answer that question in a second. Um, so you've seen me color the rhinestones, but I don't think you've seen me color the pearls before. But you can do the same thing with Stampin' Blends and the pearls. Okay, so Shanine, why do I prefer cleaning my stamps with the purple pad instead of the other cleaner and pad? Um, I just like using just water because it's not as harsh on the stamps. Um, and I think it helps your stamps to um, stay in good shape a little bit longer. Uh, when you use any kind of chemical cleaning, which is what's in some of those other things, um, then you tend to, you know possibly have a problem with uh, it wearing on your stamp and putting a lot more wear on your stamp. So that is why I like the chamois. Those are called, that. what I'm using is the simple chamois that Stampin' Up! sells. And like I said, I just like to use them because I just really feel like it is um, not as harsh on my stamps as the other cleaners. The other cleaners are great and they do work really good. Uh, but this is just since the since since the chamois have come out, that's kind of what I use now. Um, and also because it saves me money, <laughs> because I don't have to constantly be buying the refills for the uh, the stamp cleaners and the spritzes. So kind of a double edged sword. Okay. So there's our sympathy card. Thinking of you with all my heart. And I just added these little pearls that I colored with the uh, mint macaron. And then with deepest sympathy. All right, so that was just, I just wanted to show you a, a nice simple card that you could make that is not Christmas with this stamp set. And I mean, there's just so many things that you could use for, you know, with this stamp set and with the dies that are not, that have nothing to do with Christmas. So, I mean, think about this with the dove and everything like that. You could even um, 
you know, do an Easter card with this one. So, you know, there's just a lot of things that um, you could do with this stamp set that has nothing to do with Christmas. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys. All right, on to our next card. I hope that answered your question, Shanine. All right, so our next card is going to be a Christmas card. And we, um, uh, let me go through what you're gonna need for this card. So for this card, I'm using a real red card base and this is um, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then you're gonna need um, a piece of gold foil which is three and a half by four and a half. You could probably get away with a little bit smaller, but I just try to give myself a little more leeway. Then you're gonna need a basic black piece that is two and a quarter by five and a quarter. A whisper white strip that is one by three and a half. A basic black panel that is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then two whisper whites that are four by five and a quarter. And then this is from the Tis the Season pack, which is four by five and a quarter. So I just realized I forgot some dies I need for this one. So give me one second. And I'm back. <laughs> All right, so let's get started on this card. So there's not as much stamping on this card. There's gonna be a lot of cutting out. So let's get started with that. All right, let me just kind of move this stuff to the side. I'm gonna work on this Whisper White piece and the gold piece first. I'm gonna bring in the die cutting machine. Alrighty. Hopefully you guys can see this good. All right. So we're going to work on this white piece first. And what we're going to do is bring in, and I want to show you these dies because they are just so cool. So basically, if I bring in the stamp set, just so you guys know, let me just bring the here. Let me move it so you guys can see. So it, it cuts out this bird. It cuts out this dove right here. It cuts out the, the tree limb. And it cuts out um, this ornament that's right there. And then it also has all these other dies, which are um, standalone dies, which means you don't have to have stamps with it. It's just going to stamp out. And we're going to use the standalone ones tonight, just so you guys know. So let me get all these back on here so I don't lose them. It amazes me how when I take them off, I always seem to have a problem getting them back on. All right. So here we go. So I need... Um, this, I need two, two of the, I think I might do, like, see if I can cut several things at once. So I'm going to need two of these, but I'm just going to cut these two right here. And then with the gold foil, I am going to, again, I'll need two, two of the wings, but then I'm also going to need this little piece. And actually, let me make this pretty close to this just so I leave enough room for that other wing over here. All right. So I'm going to set that down. Oh, I should be using, you know, I keep forgetting to use my magnetic die. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've got the magnetic die plate, but I have forgot. I keep forgetting to get it out here. I think it's because I'm getting ready to go to, hey, Pat. Um, I keep forgetting to, uh, I'm get, I'm trying to get ready for a retreat that I'm going to on, I'm leaving on Thursday 
And so because of that, I keep not unpacking stuff because I'm busy packing for that. So let me just get all of this off of here. Okay, so I'm going to put this back on here because I need one more of the wings here. And I need one more of these wings here. I'm going to kind of go over that one a couple of times. So that I only have to go over the, with the gold foil, I try to only, unless it's really detailed, I try to only go over it once. And the reason being is if your, if your pad has any kind of scratches on it, then it tends to, um, sometimes it'll push those scratches down into the foil. And so I try to only run through once with the foil so that just in case there's some deep scratches, and I don't know if you can see it, it kind of did it. I don't think you guys can see it, but it kind of scratched it right there. So um, anytime that you're dealing with the foil, just kind of make sure that you're aware that you want your top pad to be pretty clear and clean without a lot of scratches on it. All right, so let's pull this off. And I'm gonna move this out of way for just a minute, but it'll be back because we're doing some other cutting. Actually, let's just, uh, let me just do the cutting while I've got this out. So then we're gonna bring in our basic black piece and our thin whisper white, and I'm going to be bringing in the ornate, remember these beautiful ornate dies? Yay! So we're going to be bringing this in for one of them. And then I'm going to be using the rectangle dies, uh, layering dies for the other one. So this is going to cut this out. And I think I want to tape this in place because it's so detailed I don't want it to move. See, this is where my magnetic plate would have come in handy, huh? All right, and then I need the layering, um, the stitched, they're not, I'm sorry, these aren't called layering, these are the rectangle stitched framelits, that's this set, and I believe it's this one. So out of the longer ones, it's the second to the smallest. And it barely, barely fits in here. So I definitely want to tape that one in place. I probably should have used a one and a quarter piece just in case I'm not real exact with laying this down, but let's hope I get it on here straight. Alrighty, so Pat, I think you missed the announcements that I made. Um, they are, Stampin' Up! is having a 15% off sale, 24 hour sale, tomorrow only. Um, and I showed you a list of the stamps, but when, if you go on tomorrow, it'll show you the list of the stuff that you can get for 15% off, but it's a 24 hour flash sale for tomorrow only. So, exciting news. Oops, I think I've got these on a little. When your thing has a hard time going through like mine is, it's because I didn't get all of this straight. So that that's one thing that you do kind of need to be aware of when you're going through, whether it's the big shot or this one, you want to make sure that all of your plates are fitting straight. You know, they're all like straight and pushed in because if you have one that's a little to this side then it causes some problems when you're going through. So that's just kind of a tip for any die cutting machine. So let's pull this one off. So yeah I am going to be out of service for um, 
for seven days while I am up in the mountains at my scrapbook retreat that I go to every year. So, yeah, it should be fun. I am looking forward to it. Okay, so there's that one, and that's just the stitched. It's got the stitching on it. Okay, and then this is, and I've got to poke all these out, and you'll see this in just a second, but let me just get this die cutting machine out of the way so we can get this card put together. So basically, I'm just going to come in with my take a pick tool and I'm going to change out this side and put this side so I have my little pokey. And the other thing you can do, and I did buy it, but I haven't made, again, I didn't, un, I haven't unpacked, but I do have the little brush tip that fits on this end, um, but I just have not um, gotten it, but I'm, I'm going to, I'll bring in the old one, that way I can show you guys um, how it works. So if you have a piece of, like this, that has detailed stuff, this brush now fits on the end of the pick, take a pick. You can't buy this um, for any more. You just buy the one that goes on here. Um, yes, Pat. I will at the end of this. I will give you the hostess code for tomorrow. So thank you for asking for that. I will repost the hostess code. So this just you just brush it over. And it just basically, and it comes with this little sponge thing, but it just helps to push all those little tiny pieces. And then sometimes they are, they're stubborn and they don't want to come out. So then you just use this end to finish getting those out. So that's what that brush is for. I know a lot of people have not been real sure what that brush is for, but that's how it works. Like I said, it just helps to get all these little tiny pieces pushed out. I, I, I can say that's probably the only um, the only bad thing about the detailed, more detailed dyes is that it takes a little bit longer to get them cleaned, um, you know, all the little pieces out. But it's way worth it. It gives such a pretty uh, look to your cards. Uh, and so it's just way worth the effort to get all these little tiny pieces out. Every time I think I've got it, I see one more. I think we're good. All right, so let me just put all of that in the trash. Get this all out of the way. I'm hoping, hopefully, oh, that's a die. All right. Okay. So now let's talk about putting the card together. All right, so what we're gonna do is, okay, so these are all the pieces that we cut out. And I know you guys probably can't, it's white on white. Here, let me bring in my silicone mat so you can see the pieces a little bit better. So we cut all of these out with the dies, and now we're just gonna kinda put them together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some liquid glue And again, it probably would have been good for me to use those adhesive sheets here because this is a more, uh, this is kind of a newer liquid glue and I'm worried that it's going to uh, give me a ton of glue when I don't want a ton of glue. That's always the one. It's, it's nice when you open up a new bottle of that, but then you always have to be a little careful. Okay, so then that detailed one goes on top of the gold. All right. Hey, Carol. <coughs> <coughs> Yay, are you home? So that's what it looks like when you put it on the gold. All right. And this is, this is gold foil. It's in the catalog. It's called gold foil, and they have it in different colors. They have it in, I believe, copper, silver, gold, and I think they still have the champagne color. And of course then, I mean, in the Gilded Autumn Suite, it has all of those brushed metallics 
um, which would be just as pretty on this. All right, so I've got this together. So just so you know, Shanine and um, Carol, I still have your kits and I plan on dropping those off to you guys sometime tomorrow before I leave town from this month, month stamp club so that you can then watch the video and put those together. Except Shanine, you've got to, um, are you loving this? Yay. Um, you've got to come and do some stamping ahead of time. So it might have to wait until after I get back that I bring those over because both of you need to do some stamping. And Carol, I just thought since you've been just getting out of rehab that I would just bring those stamps to you and we'll stamp them at your house for you. All right, so then that little gold piece is what covers the tail of this little dove. All right, so we've got those pieces together. Oh, Carol, you're still in the recovery center. Well, I'm glad you're joining us anyway. Darn it, I thought this meant you were home. Ah. All right, so let's bring in our card base. Then you're definitely going to have to wait until I get back because they won't let me come see you. So again, remember this is that. It's a six by six and it's called Tis the Season. That's the paper that I'm using. And I picked this design because I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got a little tiny like pin, pin stripe of black in it. So that's why I chose this one. All right. So we're just gonna use our stamp and seal and we're going to just put the adhesive on the back of this. Well, I'm glad those of you that are on with me tonight joined me tonight so I wouldn't be by myself. All right. So we're just going to lay that down like that. Oh, shoot. I made a big mistake. The mistake I always tell you guys not to do. So let me see if I can fix it really quick. I'm putting some ribbon on this and I totally forgot about the ribbon. I got busy gabbing. Go figure. All right. So I'm bringing in and this 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 is a real red and it's got the metallic edge. Um, and it's actually from the All the Trimmings suite, the one with the houses and everything. But I just thought it would go really good with this one. So I decided to use it. So again, when you guys, especially if you guys order the sweets, don't forget to kind of look um, at some of the other papers and, uh, and realize that all of this goes together pretty, you know, it, it's all the same colors from Stampin' Up! So there's a good chance you can always use it um, on with other sets, not just the set that it comes with. So I'm going to use glue dots because I messed up. <laughs> oh, goodness. Where's Pam when I need her? She always gets excited when I mess up because <laughs> she thinks I never mess up. And she's not even on tonight to see me mess up, so none of you can tell her I messed up. I'll just have to tell her she missed it. <laughs> she had her chance to watch me mess it up. All right, so hopefully I've left myself enough room. Oop, barely. And we're going to just take this. Sorry, guys. So we're just going to take this, and I'm going to go ahead and put this side down because that will help hold it in place. And then I may not have gotten that down low enough. You know what? I don't think I did. Well, it might be. We'll see. All right. All right, so let's scoot this side down just a little bit to match that side. So obviously, it's a lot easier if you put your ribbon on at the beginning. Okay, ribbon's on. Yay. Okay, thank you, Shanine. I'm so glad that my classes help you out. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece 
and we're just going to adhere it like right there. So, yeah, so one of the things I do is when I'm using a designer series paper, I kind of look at all the colors that are in there. And again, that's why I actually picked the black because this one has a really thin strip of black in it. All right, so this one is gonna go about right here. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to glue the back wing onto our dove. And actually, I wanna do this first, sorry. So we're gonna come in and I'm going to, out of that stamp set, it has this that says peace, joy, and love. And I'm going to use that stamp set. And our block here. And I am going to use black memento ink for this. And you can see I've got this on here kind of cockeyed, so I'm going to have to be really careful when I stamp this because it's not straight on my block. And we're going to stamp that down. Have you guys noticed I get really quiet when I'm stamping sentiments? It's probably the only time I'm not talking <laughs> is when I stamp my sentiments. Okay, so let's clean that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on before I put the dove on so that I know where it's gonna go. And it's gonna go up here and I'm gonna use mini dimensionals because um, I didn't leave myself a lot of room up there. And so I don't want um, the, and because this is not very wide, I wanna make sure that I can straddle the um, ribbon and so I'm just going to put the mini dimensionals because they work better um, when you're ha when you have a small area that you're working with and what I mean small area is I'm trying to leave this center open for that to go through so here we go all righty all right, so then this is going to just sit. And you wanna leave a little bit of room on this side so that you can see the pretty designer series paper. Sometimes we tend to cover that up. Okay, so that's gonna fit like that. Now we'll be able to place our bird, our dove. And so I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue here and then I'm gonna put some glue on the back so that it glues down. And so I kind of want this to sit just like that. So I'm gonna glue that down. Then I'm gonna bring in my dove because that helps me figure out where all this placement needs to be. And then my dove is gonna sit right there. Oh, I should have put, sorry, let me, I didn't put enough glue up here. All right, I need to put <laughs> more glue on my dove so that it's not just the wing that it's stuck to. Oh, I've got one more thing to cut out. I totally forgot, and I need to do that before I completely get this dove down. Okay, so I'm going to cut out a, a little twig. And I'll just kind of do that real quick. I won't bring my machine back in. All right, All right sorry about that. So this is one of the other dies. It's just a little twig like what the, what the dove carries back to Noah. <laughs> For those of you that are familiar. Hey Mel, I'm almost done with the second card, but welcome. So this is that little twig. 
and again, just putting a little bit of glue, and we want that twig to kind of be up there like the dove is carrying it in its mouth. Ah, it's moving. All right, then we're gonna, and then this wing, I'm going to pop up, all right? So this one's gonna be popped up, and again, I'm gonna use um, the mini dimensionals just because on this edge over here, there's not a lot of room. So I'm gonna put about four of these on here. And so let's just get those off. All righty. Make sure that's going down. And then this is just gonna kinda come in here and we're just going to stick this up here so that it lays like that, and that's popped up. Then what I'm going to do, I'm gonna finish the front in a second. Let me do the inside, because I wanna show you guys a little trick when you're working with gold. Um, and this was something I learned quite a while ago. But one of the cool colors that we have that match that's kind of gold looking and so when you stamp with it it looks gold at first kind of glance is crumb cake and so um because i didn't want to use a metallic gold which we don't sell anymore um i'm going to come in with the crumb cake and i'm going to take this dove and i'm just going to put it in this corner but see how the crumb cake looks gold so it's a really good color to use when you're making cards that have gold in them and you're trying to kind of match that with a like a sentiment or something. So crumb cake's a really good color um, that mimics the gold really well. Okay, so then I'm going to use the other sentiment for the inside which says may your season be filled with all the wonder and blessings of christmas and i think that will fit on this one yes it will and this i'm going to do in memento black okay so let me come in all right, let me see if I can, this doesn't look quite straight. All right, let me see if I can do this without getting my head in there and get it straight. Yay! Isn't that exciting? Anytime we stamp it straight, it's always exciting. All right, so that's gonna be the inside. And then I believe, so on the inside, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and put it on the black getting a mess here so this we're just using the stamp and seal we're gonna just put this onto the um, four and one eighth by five and three eighth piece of basic black and then do the stamp and seal one more time so that we can put that on the inside and then we're gonna finish the front of our card with some fun embellishments. All right, so that's gonna go on the inside. Then, I don't know how many of you have noticed these, but these are the metallic pearls that we have in our catalog. And so I'm going to use these. And um, because they are gold and what did I do with my take a pick tool? There it is. Let me put this on the end so I don't stab myself. And I am going to do um, one as the eye of the dove. So that's going to go right there. And then see these little dots between that? I'm just going to put one of these on each of those dots. Whoops. I just sent a bunch of those flying. 
So I'm going to stick that one there. Oh, I think that's stuck to my paper. Sorry, I've got some that flipped over and now they're stuck to my hand. <laughs> Let me see if I can set it down and pick it up. There we go. All right. All right, so they come. these come in silver and gold, and they're, there's like a cabillion of them in here. So again, another really good deal. Those are the metallic pearls. All right, so there's this card. So this one is the Christmas card. So let me bring it closer. Oh, Mel, you love these pearls. Yeah, aren't they neat? So it says, peace, joy, and love. And then may your season be filled with all the wonder and blessings of Christmas. And then see how that looks gold down there in the corner. So that is my Christmas card. So I only did two for you tonight. Let me see if I can find the first card I did. Oh my gosh, I am just a hot mess tonight. I don't even know where I set it. <laughs> oh my gosh, there it is. Oh. So, and remember, the first one I did was a sympathy card with the same set. So, let me just kind of zoom in for you guys a little bit so you can see both of these cards. All right. So, this one was just a simple stamping, but I did add the pearls that I colored with the Stampin' Blends. All right. So, that's our sympathy card. And then this is the Christmas card. All right. So, yeah. So just re remember, just because it's in the Christmas section and just because it's in the mini catalog, you don't necessarily have to use it for Christmas. You can get sentiments off of other stamp sets and you can make them um, to where they're, yeah, not, not Christmas cards. So let me go over, because some of you were here late, so I want to make sure everybody gets this announcement. Um, so really quick... Um, if I can find it. So tomorrow, um, Stampin' Up! is having their 24-hour stamp sale, tomorrow only, where a lot of the stamp sets that are in the annual catalog, not the mini catalog, the annual catalog, are going to be 15% off. I'm going to scroll through very quickly, because those of you that weren't here at the beginning, this is just the list of what is on there. And so if it's if it's normally $26, it's only going to be $22. So if you guys want to take screenshots as I go by, so that you can kind of see which cards or which stamp sets. So if you've got any of these on your wish list, tomorrow would be the day to get them. And, and it is going to be like first come, first serve. So, you know... If you wait until midnight tomorrow night or 11.59 until tomorrow night, then your stamps could be gone. But notice there are some that are Christmas ones that are in here. That not from the mini catalog, but they are in the annual catalog. So here's another quick look. The Zany Zebras is in there. The Goat one is in there. Um... So all of these are going to be 15% off tomorrow only. And I'm just pausing for just a second. So take screenshots or you can come back and pause this and look at the list. All right. So that's that's the list. And then like I said, if you guys have thought about being ever, ever thought about being a demonstrator, don't forget we still have that get and go starter kit promotion that is through September. Um, you all know that to sign up as a demonstrator, it costs $99. You get $125 worth of product. But for this month only, you will also get the Queen Anne's Lace stamp set, the So Much Love stamp set, Rhinestone Basic Jewels, and then these two um, card kits that will come so you're ready to make cards. And then if you do this tomorrow... Um, anything, any stamps that you order in your starter kit, um, if they're on that list, they will be 15% off. So really good deal. So if, like I said, I know some of you have discussed with me 
about becoming a demonstrator. So if you're serious about it, tomorrow would be a good day to contemplate it because any of those stamp sets that you might put in your kit would be 15% off. Plus you're going to get the $99 worth of, you're only going to spend $99 and get $125. Plus you get this whole um, thing here for the get and go starter kit. So really good time to consider if you've been considering it, good time to sign up as a demonstrator. So for those of you that were asking, there is the hostess code for this month. So if you're wanting to place an order, you go to juliebrown.stampinup.net, you put in that hostess code. If you're spending less than $150, um, and then that will work for everybody tomorrow for that 15% off. So I hope some of your favorite stamps are on sale because that's always exciting when we have things on sale for everybody. All right, ladies, thank you for joining me tonight. Um, I am going to try to record a, a video for next Tuesday because I will be at retreat and I'm going to be up in the mountains. And when I'm at retreat, um, it, I, there's no way I can live stream from there because um, the internet is extremely iffy <laughs> up there. I always try to use my Cricut when I'm up there working on my scrapbook pages and half the time it knocks me off. So I know there's no way that I could live stream from retreat. I wish I could because it would be fun for you guys to see what I'm doing up there. Um, but anyway, I will try to get one recorded and posted next Tuesday for seven o'clock. Um, hopefully I, and my plan is to get that done tomorrow for you guys. Um, so that it's up and ready, and then I can just post it from up there. Um, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. I will have my phone while I'm up there. I am leaving Thursday morning to go up there, and I will not be back until Wednesday night of next of the following, uh, yeah, next week. So um, if you guys have any questions, I'll still be posting to my blog and my Pinterest while I'm up there, so you can kind of check out those uh, my blog and my Pinterest page so that if you want to see some cards that I've been working on, they're on there. Yay! So anyway, everybody have a great night. I appreciate you being here. Um, oh, thank you, Carol. I will have fun. Um, yes, I will make memories. Um, that's kind of that's kind of what our theme is. It's called Patchwork of Memories this year. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. I, you know, it's always nice to have that little break and it's really the only time I scrapbook anymore because I'm so busy making cards for, uh, to show all of you guys that I don't spend a lot of time scrapbooking. So it'll be fun to get caught up on some of my scrapbook pages. People tease me all the time because they ask me, what are you scrapbooking? And I'm like, I'm on 1989. <laughs> so so that's the year I'm on, 1989, and so that's uh, hopefully one day I can say I am on, you know, 2020, um, hopefully in the same year, but I doubt that will ever happen. Uh, but anyway, everybody have a great night. Everybody have a good week while I'm gone, and uh, you will be able to call me and text me, so if you need any or have any questions, you can most definitely get in touch with me. So I will see you when I get back. Talk to everybody soon. Bye.